welcome once again to Office 365. Um, this time I'm going to cover PowerPoint. Now PowerPoint is accessed by going up to the 3x3 grid, clicking on it, and then going to the orange or red, whatever color that is, PowerPoint, and clicking on it. You can also get to it from OneDrive. So if you go to OneDrive, New, you can click on it here. So there's two ways to get to it, by clicking on the 3x3 grid or from OneDrive, going in and creating it from New. Now, got to be perfectly honest with you here, PowerPoint Online is great if you're just going to do slides with pictures, slides with text. What's really simple um, transitions and, and all that, but if you're looking to insert audio and video, uh, if you're looking to make it uh, interactive, uh, this isn't the place to go. Um, it's but like I said, for really simple, this really simple slides, it's great. So you know, just give you some choices here. It's pretty similar to you know what you're probably already familiar with. What's PowerPoint from the, the Office 2013, soon to be Office 2015. Um, it's pretty similar here, but you definitely notice, like for example, when we do video, the only choice for video is online video, and that's a YouTube video. So you can't put your own videos on here. It has to be a link to online content. So, like I said, this is really great if you're trying to do really simple, really simple slides. Kind of, it's, it's the same with Google um, Google Slides. There's, you you can't put audio in there. They're great for just simple, you know, real quick uh, slides where you're trying to present information, but they're, they're not fancy, they're not interactive. So this is just kind of a way to, to get in here. Uh, remember that you don't have to worry about saving because this saves automatically. So you don't have to worry about the power going out and all that that we've talked about. Uh, it automatically saves it, so you don't have to worry about saving. You can also download a copy, so if someone, you want to give them a copy on a flash drive, that's okay too. You can also share it. And when you share it, go to get a link. And this is great because you can say, you want people to just view the file. You can give them a link and put it on your portal page or your web page or if you're using Edmodo put it on there, more than likely it's going to be your portal page. You can just put this link on there instead of having people download it, upload it to the, the somewhere and then downloading it. You can just give them the link and say here's the link to the PowerPoint online. Now like I said, what's nice about all this is you can access this anywhere. Okay, so you don't have to be at a particular computer. It's, there's, there's not a Mac version of Office 365. There's not a Linux version, there's not a Windows version, it's all the same. So no matter where you go, it's always going to look the same, and you're always going to have access to it because it's uh, in the cloud, uh, or it's online. So this is great for being able to store stuff without worrying about flash drives and worrying about downloading and uploading and yada, yada, yada. Just go ahead and create a link. Remember, if you only want them to view it, then create that link. If you want them to edit it, then that's a different link. Please be cautious with the editing because if you if you allow somebody to edit something, they can change it to whatever for everyone. So if everyone has a slide and someone writes something on it or changes the, the grading scales or changes the questions or whatever, that's going to be for everyone. So what you might want to do is uh, a view only. Because it's you don't want people changing your slides and then putting stuff on there that's inappropriate. And quite frankly, it's going to be hard to figure out who did it. So probably want to use view only. But like I said, that's a great tool to use. This is great if you're just trying to create basic information slides. They're great. Like it's almost like a a smart board type of tool. 
and really, really great, but it's very, very limited. Okay, this is not as powerful as what the, the, the hard copy version of 2013. Okay, so if you're just trying to do basics, this is great. Remember, you could share on this, and also remember that there are lots of other videos here that will show up on the menu page. Yeah, make sure and check those out because there's some really good help there. If you need other help, please stop by the Tech Center. If you want to learn how to uh, make uh, PowerPoints interactive, you know, stop by the Tech Center and ask some questions. Or if there's enough of you, we'll put together a video on how to how to be able to click on uh, different parts of slides and go to different slides depending on your answer. Kind of like a choose your own adventure. You can do that in PowerPoint. You know, let, let us know if you need help with that stuff. And we'll be happy to go in and either help you or help your classroom. Thank you very much for watching the video.